So when we hear someone talk about healthy, vibrant skin, we often think about skincare, dietary changes, but we forget about blood circulation, which plays a vital role in our skin's health. Don't big your skin, big bandage. Hey guys, welcome back to the Acne Channel. It's your girl Liz, aka Pretty Progress 23. Today's video is going to give you eight practical tips about how to increase your blood circulation in order to improve your acne prone skin. Before I start that though, I'm going to give you some examples so you can really understand how blood circulation plays a huge factor. Example number one, what do you notice in somebody who has anemia? So somebody who lacks red blood cells, their skin is quite pale and sometimes even lifeless. Example number two, think about the legs of somebody who has poorly controlled advanced diabetes. Their legs have like ulcers, there's discoloration and you can just tell that something is not right. Example number three, think about somebody who has severe cystic acne. I'm going to think about myself in the past. It was all over my cheeks. My skin was blotchy, uneven skin tone. I had clusters of red pimples on my cheeks, uh, across my forehead, and it was just very, very uneven. All the examples have a lot to do with your circulatory system. And so that's why I'm going to dedicate this whole video to give you practical tips, which hopefully will help you. Okay, so I'm going to give you this explanation in layman terms because that's how I understood it. So this is the surface of your skin. You have your breakouts, clogged pores, congestion, cystic acne. Underneath your skin is your blood circulation. So your circulatory system has the role of bringing nutrients. Think about oxygen, vitamins, minerals, hormones, everything in between that allows that repair of the skin. If it is slow and stagnant, then it's not going to be able to kind of get rid of that waste in an efficient way, your skin is not going to repair at its most optimal level. And so we increase our blood circulation, nutrients, oxygens, hormones, vitamins, minerals, all the nutrients that we need, then the skin is going to start repairing itself. Okay, let's jump right into the practical tips. Tip number one is increasing your blood circulation through exercising. So think about whether you're going to the gym, you're running, you're dancing. <laughs> You know, spending 20 to 30 minutes per day is enough to increase your blood circulation. You're literally forcing your circulatory system to be active. So when you're burning like your muscle fat, it's removing the excess cholesterol in your blood vessels and your liver. Tip number two, this is going to sound a little bit weird, but try to do a handstand for like two to three minutes. When I was young, I used to do this all the time and I could see my face going red and basically once you slowly get down from the handstand you're increasing and activating the blood circulation number three get regular facial treatments now this is really really important like I know it could be a little bit costly but it's worth investing in your skin health as I said blood carries oxygen and the more you promote that circulation through treatments such as a hydrofacial it really helps your skin get plump and and really nourished I personally got a hydrofacial a couple of weeks ago and I saw a massive difference like there wasn't many clogged pores and that was from physical extraction but like weeks after my skin was still radiant still glowy and I felt like my skin was plump again as if I was like in my teenage years if you don't think a hydrofacial is within your budget, then it leads me on to my next step. Step number four, think about facial massages at home with either gouaches, jade rollers, your facial cleansers that vibrate, or even your hands. So every time I wash my face in the morning or at night, I'll always massage my cheeks for like 60 seconds. Not only does that allow the ingredients of your products to do its thing and actually have time to work, but also you're increasing that blood flow. To renew the nutrients underneath your skin and you will see a difference. After washing your face, your skin might look a little bit flushed and that's completely okay. It's activating that circulatory system for better healing to happen. Also, some dermatologists say that jade rollers and gouaches don't really work. But it's all about consistency. With jade rollers and, and gouaches, while some people believe that there's energy within the stone, it's not just about the energies within the stone. So if you're skeptical about that, don't even worry about that. It's about the scraping movements, the way you're pushing that, that lymphatic system and draining it to get rid of that toxins within your skin. So I highly, highly recommend jade rollers, gouaches, or even using your fingers and using your knuckles to like massage your cheeks just like this. 
Now, if you have like active pimples, then skip the gua sha and skip the knuckling. Just try to have a jade roller and you can use it on top of like a sheet mask and that helps really de-stress and de-puff your skin. I'm going to talk about this in another video because jade rollers and gua sha's deserve its own video. Tip number five is stay hydrated. Okay, water is essential for living, but it's also healthy for your skin. I always say this, and I know some people roll their eyes like, water's not gonna help cure your acne, and it doesn't, but it definitely promotes that healing. When you're hydrated, your skin's gonna feel supple, it's gonna feel nourished, and that helps your skin. If, you, if your skin lacks water, then your body is gonna be like, oh no, I need to do something to kind of help reintroduce that water and then produce excess oils instead because it's kind of in this stressful state. And so you don't want to have dehydrated skin. Plump your skin with hydration. That also improves the blood flow in your skin so we can get rid of that waste. To establish like a long-term hydration level within your skin for healthy glowing skin, you're thinking about like eight glasses a day. I personally drink about two to three liters because I like to do a lot of physical exercise. I pee it out a lot to prevent UTIs. If like I talk a lot about UTIs in my on my Instagram and that really helps flush out what's not necessary it keeps you healthy and it helps your skin as well internal balance also helps your skin's equilibrium number six showering with warm to cool water taking hot waters has been like the number one popular remedy for de-stressing but it also damages your skin's outer mantle it further irritates your skin and causes the inflammation to worsen so avoid hot showers and start with warm water i wish i knew how to break the spell so that increases your blood flow activating your circulatory system and then slowly increasing to cooler water so the transition from warm water to cool water activates the circulatory system and i highly recommend that cool waters is also amazing for like body acne if you suffer from chest acne shoulder acne whatever it is on your body cool waters make a hell of a difference and as well it boosts your mood and your energy levels and you won't even need a coffee and i personally have skipped coffee because it's that's it's definitely not good for you. No! You'll thank me later. Seven, take herbal medicine. As advised by your naturopath or your herbalist, I love Chinese herbal medicine personally. Dr. Vivian Tam recommended this to me and this has literally saved my skin. The natural extracts of herbs and flowers and roots really promote that circulation within your system, renewing the nutrients, detoxing your liver and cleansing your body in a way that your breakouts can heal at a faster rate. Zilch acne is something that I've been talking about for the longest time. This obviously is not sponsored. I am partnered with them, but I wanna chuck in this video so you don't miss out on something that is absolutely amazing. So with Zilch is 100% Chinese Chinese herbal medicine and you can check out my highlighted stories on my Instagram you can check out the reviews and all these natural extracts again have its own function in healing the skin shut up and take my money if you don't want to take zilch acne that's definitely okay go to your herbalist your naturopath and they'll recommend healing healing herbs that promote and activate that circulatory system if you're somebody who doesn't really exercise a lot and your diet isn't the best when you crave for like processed foods high in carbohydrates high in sugar intake you're most likely going to be clogging up your blood vessels with fatty deposits and inflammation. And so your body needs that gentle detoxification and that can be done through increasing your blood circulation. Tip number eight is de-stressing. Your stress levels are so, so important. This is because when your body is under like intense pressure, your blood vessels start to constrict. And that means that it's not going to have a good blood flow and your skin is not going to have the right nutrients, hormones, vitamins, and minerals that it needs and so when you want to de-stress thinking about doing what makes you happy try to manage your workload where you're not staying up really late and so those are my main eight tips try to increase your blood circulation by three or four different ways that I've just named in this video I hope this was helpful and have a lovely day big kisses Mwah. bye guys <laughs>